6, the South Downs community could soon be putting a ban on single-use plastics like containers and straws. A public hearing on this issue is happening later on this month in East Aurora, but people are not waiting around for the village to make a decision. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps shows us tonight, some are already making moves to help protect the planet. This paper okay? Come March, plastic bags will be banned throughout the state. But East Aurora is taking it one step further by proposing a ban on single-use plastics as well. This is a proposal that actually came from one of our younger citizens, Anthony Mercurio. Anthony is the son of Mayor Peter Mercurio and is just 17 years old. He says he was inspired by his science teacher and decided to write up a draft piece of legislation. East Aurora would be a cleaner place without them. Plastics are just horrible for the environment. Mercurio's proposal is being called the Environmental Stewardship Local Law. It would eliminate plastics that people use once and throw away. It is mainly for restaurants or any, any food, any establishment that serves food and has, for instance, like plastic straws is one very specific thing that it is aimed at. It would also ban plastic forks, knives, spoons, and containers like takeout boxes. The alternative is anything compostable, like paper. There are actually a number of those that are already, uh, they won't have to change anything because they're already complying with the law. Places like Barbill, which has already made the switch to cardboard takeout boxes and paper straws. I wouldn't say that, that it was easy. Uh, uh, paper takes up uh, uh, quite a bit more space. Uh, paper is also a little more costly, but, uh, but all in all, it was positive for our business. The local environmental group ACES also pushed for the change. If everybody starts using biodegradable products, the, the cost will come down just automatically. There will be a public hearing on the proposal on August 19th. The board will then make its decision based on that feedback. In East Aurora, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News. Long-awaited work on Como Lake in Lancaster.